Hello everybody, Torn Smith here, and oh boy, do I really got another movie to tell what my thoughts were on it, and I was not really happy to tell it so much, especially after when I saw it in theaters, and since Norman, another YouTuber, won't stop bringing these guys up, I decided to actually talk about my thoughts on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on 2014 by Michael Bay. Now, I'm not actually going to lie about this. When I first saw the trailer of it, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I actually want to see this movie or not. But when I actually did see the movie in theaters, when I gave it a first watch before I could get my criticism onto it, it made me change my mind about it. I didn't like the movie too much. And the turtles, how they're CGI and how the way they looked in the movie, they kind of look a bit, bit human-ish with a bit of Shrek into them. I mean, you could actually make them more turtle-like, make them real. But somehow, I actually found them quite enjoyable throughout the movie. It was the story I hated the most. And I thought the other live-action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with Jim Henson Creatures Shop Company actually working on it was fantastic. Especially love how the way Corey Feldman actually voiced Donatello in that one. But with this Michael Bay Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shit, um... The whole entire origin story about how the way the turtles became to be was just shit all over. The 1980 version kind of had a good backstory about how the way the turtles were created and where they came from. Hell, the 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was actually really enjoyable. The story, the development, the comedy, the action, the drama. Oh my god, that thing was a masterpiece on Nickelodeon. And I would talk more about that, but I'm going to save it for another time. When I talk about Teenage Ninja Turtle episodes, back onto the movie, but I just didn't like the whole story of it, like I said before. And Megan Fox as April O'Neil, I didn't like her very much. I could have seen Sofa Lillis, who played Beverly in the movie It, as April O'Neil. As for the Shredder, I hated him. He looked like fucking Megatron, especially how that suit was. And the actor who portrayed him, he was crap. They just picked out some random actor. And I'm really not going to lie, I actually like Out of the Shadows a little bit more than the actual first one. Because you got Bebop and Rocksteady, you got Crane, and you have Casey Jones, who needed some more development and could use some more tough guy work. The only bits and pieces I actually liked from this Michael Bay Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the subway scene and the snow chase scene. The rest of the film, I just didn't like it. Because there were times it, at, it actually lost me at first when I was watching it in theaters. Like, I almost couldn't tell what story were they actually going with. Especially when they tell the origin story of the Turtles and Splinter. Seriously, April O'Neil was actually the owner of these guys? You cannot be fucking serious. They should have never made this one. And they should have never let Michael Bay actually direct this. Because we knew he fucked up the rest of the Transformer movies right after when he did the first one. I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so much, but I wish this one could have had more development and it could have had something better to offer. I would say Cowabunga, but this is a no Cowabunga for me to say.